Hello, and welcome to Terrace Time. Today we're gonna to do the Dollar Store Challenge organization. So I've got this cabinet that I've been dreading. I do not want to do this. It's so bad. So this, the drawers, it's just, it's a mess. It needs to get organized. It needs to be decluttered. There's stuff that has to get given away, thrown out. It's just been a catch-all for every piece of furniture that I've worked on. If it had stuff in it, it got thrown in here so that I can refinish it. So this is <laughs> the monster child of our house. So we're gonna refinish the or finish this up, get it organized. I just painted it. I'll put a little clip of that in so you guys can see what it looked like before and what it looks like now. And wait till it gets organized. But first, I'm gonna show you what I'm using. Now I'm gonna tell you, my dollar store is pretty picked over and I went to three. So we've got what we could get that actually was kind of pretty. And uh, let's see where we go. Okay, so I just have two of these little baskets. I figured it would hold some Cricut stuff. And then I've got a lot of these. I figured it could hold, because I've got like candles and, and household items, flowers decor, stuff like that. Then I have my jewelry in here because I don't have a dresser in my room. So I got these, thinking I could do like, you know, earrings, bracelets, necklaces, however I can organize that. I do have these two clips in case I need to hang something. To tell you the truth, I don't know everything that's in here. Let's see how far we get. Let's attack the dollar store challenge. Okay, so first I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pull everything out of the cabinet so that I can touch everything, see if I need it, see if I want it, throw away stuff I don't need, have a donate pile, all that kind of stuff. Let's get going. Okay, so for everybody who's new here, my name is Tara. I am a married mom of three grown children. My youngest daughter does still live at home with me. I like to put out cleaning, motivational, cooking, DIY, anything that has to do with your home. We're gonna do it on this channel and I hope you enjoy watching. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video so you get to see some very satisfying before and after shots. Okay, so I came across this game that is my kid's game, and um, there was ants in the closet. I was like, oh, okay, ants in the closet, and I look at the game, and I open it, and oh my gosh, there were ants in this cabinet. I'm sorry if I offend any of you, but these ants all went down the sink and drain. Okay, so while that's drying, let's get back to decluttering. Okay, so as you can see, I cleared the floor. We still have to wash in the cabinet. I just kind of condensed my piles. So I kind of have decor stuff. I want to make sure I keep shampoos, my Cricut obviously, office, because we're going to need a little office area, because it's kind of like my everything, makeup area, my Cricut supplies, um, I don't think I'll be able to fit my sewing machine in here, but that would be really nice, but we'll see. 
So over here I have stuff that I will be selling or donating. I am having a large yard sale because my garage is packed full of furniture. There's the stuff that we're going to be doing. Let's walk around. So I have mailing supplies here. Um, I do like to mail stuff to my dad. Books, pictures, candles, and I have a stack of fairy lights there. This is jewelry and the organizers and the stack of magazines I need to go through. So sad when we lost in the morning. So let's start with the drawers because I know I have more magazines in there and jewelry and see where we go. So clearly I have a magazine addiction because I had the biggest pile of magazines stuffed in this cabinet that I hadn't gotten through, but we have rectified that situation. So I'm going to totally admit that we are a clean family. I'm a clean person. I like everything clean. My surface is clean, but my drawers and my closets look like this. And they have since I was a little kid, which used to drive my mom insane. So this has been my New Year's resolution to organize my home and make it more manageable and get rid of the crap that I have been hoarding. And I've done pretty well so far um, with each piece and you get to see all of it this year. So I hope you enjoy watching me declutter and organize this year. All right, so we have office supplies. We have face creams, oils, a couple lipsticks, nail file, never even opened it. Flashlights, perfumes, some furniture things. I need to put those where I have all my hardware stuff. My magic band. Then on my desk, we have all of the stuff for the iPhone, cases, glass, wires, earbuds. Pile of trash. The vacuum is ready to clean. Wallets and makeup cases. All of my daughter's graduating stuff, her diploma. Then I have stuff I will get rid of, sell, donate. And we're gonna make it around to the table. Never throw away your desiccant or silica. Put it in with your jewelry. Anywhere you have think you're gonna have moisture, always save those. Very good for you. <laughs> Look at all this jewelry I have. You know, I wear like a pair of earrings. <laughs> Why do I have all of this? So we're gonna go through that, organize it. We're probably gonna get rid of most of it. Because where do we go anymore to wear stuff like this? My daughter-in-law gave me these Mickey ears, and then COVID happened, so we never even got to use them yet. Candles, mailing supplies, all of my pictures and some artwork, um, like the invitation to my son and daughter-in-law's wedding. Back to books, that's where he goes. Look at this pile of magazines. I save them because I like the recipes or pictures and then I just never remember to go through them. So we're going to accomplish that. Some sheet protectors. Let's get cleaning out this cabinet. So 
I took on this challenge because I was watching Love Create Celebrate and she put this challenge out for everybody and I'm going to link her below and tag her in this video because she really gave me the oomph to get this done, the motivation, and I'm really happy she did and I want to thank her and her channel for doing that for me. And then another channel that gave me huge motivation to start trying to minimalize all of my stuff was The Minimal Mom. I didn't realize how much stress there was in inducing in myself in just managing all of the crap that I had. And it's starting to get rid of that. It makes it easier for me to manage my home. So I highly recommend those two YouTube channels. Um, I will link them below, so just make sure you, you look them up. It is Love, Create, Celebrate, and then The Minimal Mom, two wonderful channels here on YouTube. So here I'm just trying to get a feel for how it's going to fit in the cabinet to see how I want to sort everything. I just want to say that this is jewelry that I have accumulated since I was 18 years old and then like 10 years ago I was trying to do a whole eBay sales shop so I had some jewelry from that too but it just it's really impressive the amount of stuff we accumulate and we think that we're gonna wear it and we really like it and we pay money for it but we don't use it so it felt really good to kind of declutter and get rid of the stuff that I know I'm not going to wear and I haven't touched in years. So I want to hear about your guys' New Year's resolutions. It's almost March. Are they out the window? Do they even matter anymore? Are you still working on them? Let me know in the comments below. So I did keep the bracelet that was broken. I'm hoping to glue it. It is emerald bracelet. I got it, and the first time I wore it, the piece fell out. I really need to get it fixed. Okay, so we organized earrings. Studs, earrings my children have given me, earrings I wear when I'm feeling fancy, and then I usually wear these for the holidays. Um, I've got bracelets and necklaces in here, and then this is shades that's just like really old, wheat pennies, buffalo nickels, stuff like that. And me and my husband have a huge watch fetish. The problem with all of these watches is the batteries are all dead. They're all Invicta, but the batteries are all dead. And only get them changed at an Invicta store, and every time we go to Sarasota to our mall, the store is closed. So, there we are with that. I'm going to save this for all my rings, and yes, I have some of my children's teeth there. I know you saved yours. So this is going to be the pile of stuff that I donate, sell, give away, all that kind of stuff. We made a dent.
Okay, the big reveal. Now I'm not gonna say it's a tremendous difference, but I'm gonna say it, it's a tremendous difference. Look at that, you can open the drawer, I know what I've got, it's organized, I have my jewelry, I have my perfumes, I have my bag of trial size creams that I can actually pick out one day when I wanna try them. My little office area, business cards, I use those little things just for the little stuff that kinda gets lost in the drawer. This I got years ago at the dollar store, so um, I just put my cords, post-it notes in there, all my phone stuff down there. And, and then we have the Cricut, Cricut tools and cords, my little cutter thing, my mats, all my paperwork and extra like little pieces that of vinyl and stuff that get cut off. And then I've got my perfumes and hair stuff with room to grow, which is what I love. Now I do this, I'm not gonna say this worked that great for the Cricut thing, but it was the biggest basket I could find at the Dollar Tree, but it works for now. It, it works for now. I have my candles in here. I have my yarn in here. And then I put all the pictures and stuff in there. And while I'm not gonna say it's a great fit, these, these kind of are shoved in here, it looks organized, it's pretty, it was the best I could do, and it was cheap. With all of this, I probably spent $15 in total to organize this cabinet. So I'm pretty proud of that. I hope you enjoyed watching, and do your own dollar store challenge. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Try your own dollar store challenge. Get rid of all the crap, purge. If you don't love it, get rid of it, sell it. Make some money off of it, get your money back. Thanks for watching Tara's time today. Remember to like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and thank you if you're a new viewer. Bye-bye, see you next time.